Students and staff at Robert Eagle Staff in Hamilton International Middle Schools are noticing the positive change after pushing for cell phone free campuses. Plus, West Seattle High School has earned national recognition by the Special Olympics for their work in unified sports. And we're kicking off the SPS All-Star Awards to highlight district staff who are positively impacting their school community. All this and more coming up on First Bell. Hey SPS, I'm Teresa Scribner. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell, where we chime in with news from around the district. The school year is in full swing and we've got great stories, so let's get into it. At Hamilton International and Robert Eagle Staff Middle Schools, school leaders, staff, and parents have joined forces to help students stay focused in the classroom by putting their cell phones away for the day. In recent years, district leaders and school staff have noticed how cell phones have increasingly contributed to distractions, which impact students' focus and their social interactions. With the help of parent organizations, both middle schools introduced yonder pouches, which allow students to lock their phones in a secure bag limiting their use during the school day. Put it in, lock it, walk in. The pouches can only be unlocked by school staff or at designated stations once school is over. After some initial hesitation, most students are now seeing the benefits of having their phones out of sight. I feel like it is better. It helps me like focus more and it like just helps me stand on business, get my work done, and yeah, turn in all assignments and stuff. In Brian Getchell's seventh grade class at Hamilton International, the Washington State history teacher said their cell phone policy allows him to focus on teaching and worry less about distractions. Because the administration has said if it's out, it goes to the office, there's no warnings, it's, that's just what happens. And compared to last year where they had a couple warnings, kids are understanding that, oh, this is serious, so I don't want to lose my cell phone. Um, I haven't really seen a phone this year. And that's not normal. <laughs> Over at Robert Eagle Staff Middle School, lunchtime is playtime. Instead of students dwelling on not having their cell phones, Principal Zach Stoll has filled the cafeteria with board games and music playing over the PA system. You can even find students playing outdoors. Stoll said by focusing on these replacement behaviors, students are more engaged with their peers, building relationships, community, and connections. I do think my hope is that uh, middle school we can remove these so kids have access to make authentic connections, uh, be present, and just maximize their learning so we can reach their full potential. In other news, West Seattle High School has been officially recognized as a Special Olympics National Banner Unified Champion School for their work in unified sports. The award highlights the school's efforts in creating a more inclusive environment for students of all abilities, particularly those with intellectual disabilities. I put a lot of time and effort into our students and making sure that our school is becoming a very welcoming community for all students of all abilities, all races, and all genders. High school should be a place of positive memories for a lot of our students and for all students. And I just feel like some of our students don't get that opportunity because they feel they don't fit with this group or that group, so creating a space for them. Pay attention to these important announcements. Here comes the rundown. We are excited to celebrate the incredible individuals who make a difference in Seattle Public Schools. The SPS All-Star Awards aim to highlight current district staff who are positively impacting their school community. This month, we're shining a special spotlight on school bus drivers, custodians, athletic coaches, and school lunch workers. Get your nominations in today. Getting vaccines is optimal for getting through cold weather seasons. SPS is offering vaccine clinics this fall that are open to all SPS staff, families, and students. Dates, locations, and registration information is available on the SPS Vaccine Clinic webpage. District leaders have developed a revised proposal for well-resourced schools that will address the budget deficit for the 2025-26 school year. SPS will be hosting community gatherings to release general information as well as share specific plans for impacted schools. Keep an eye out for messages with dates and times for meetings. Before I go, I want to inform you that in November, the school board will vote on placing two important levies on the ballot for February 2025. The district will hold levy information sessions for families, staff, and the larger community. These online meetings begin October 22nd. 
Well, that's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. And be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, School Beat. Until next time, I'm Teresa Scribner. We'll catch you later for First Bell. Thank <laughs> you.